The sad reality, why being single as a man can be difficult. Stick around as I reveal why it can be very mentally challenging for a man to be single, frustrated and alone when it comes to dating. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is brought to you by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month in the description below. Before I continue, I am not suggesting it is not equally as bad or difficult for women who are single. Nor am I hating on women, that's not this type of video. In late 2019, I walked away from a toxic relationship. And although it was the right decision, I found the sudden adjustment to being single very challenging again. Then just a few months later, the pandemic started. I locked down and isolated like everyone else. I never even touched the person, not a woman, for a very long time. In late 2019 to 2022, those were challenging times for me. Even my dad died tragically in that period. It was hell. And being single throughout most of that time, I dated somebody briefly in 2021 and was so exhausted, sad and difficult. It was obviously very extreme, scary, unpredictable times looking back. At the time where I was coming out of a toxic relationship, I needed comfort, companionship and the pandemic robbed me of that. Not to mention I needed consoling and comfort after tragically losing my dad too. I would have given anything to have the warmth, love and affection of a good woman in that time. It was too isolating and too lonely. But thanks to amazing resilience, strength and perspective, I pulled through. And as of present day, I got out of that hole and attracted a good, healthy relationship, the best I've ever had. Sadly, not many men are as fortunate as me in the end and are in fact very frustrated. They are ready to give up. They are ready to just walk away from dating women entirely. And in all honesty, I don't blame them. I get where they're coming from for sure, but maybe we need to change a bit of perspective. Here are other reasons why it is so difficult being single as a man. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of these videos. Most men settle if they find a woman to date or tolerate such an awful behavior from the wrong woman or date the wrong woman in general. And speaking from personal experience, you will never be good enough for the wrong woman. Finding a partner can be difficult and time consuming, especially in the age of online dating and apps. You're trying to find a diamond in the rough. A unicorn, that special woman who is a cut above the rest, different from the others. Now, How can you see that on just a dating profile? How can you see that on a first date? How can you find that realistically? It's very hard and challenging, especially online where every woman who has a profile has a hundred men chasing her. After a very brief relationship in 2021, I was single again in that summer, but I was wiser older and stronger for my setbacks and lessons. I was determined to find the right woman, but I lacked perspective. I was confused and I was impatient. Dating was so time consuming as I would have to dedicate so many hours to dating apps. Lots of swiping, lots of messaging, lots of multiple apps on the go. And it was difficult too, because some women would ghost me, block me for no reason, or not show up to dates at all or not look like their pictures, have glaring red flags that I could not ignore or shrug off. I actually found it a very stressful time and based on what I wanted, a very frustrating time too. But slowly and surely, exactly a year later, I met the most wonderful woman and everything just naturally, effortlessly fell into place for me making it worth it in the end, making the struggles, the bad dates and so on and so forth, the doubts worth it in the end. Finding the right woman for you, for the healthy, good man, can be very difficult. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is in the description below. Men may struggle to find meaning in life without a partner or family to prioritize. Now, I'm not suggesting a woman should be your ultimate purpose, nor am I saying a man is nothing without a woman. However, what I am saying is a good woman complements a man's life. 
She supports him, is his number one fan, is the love and affection, the warmth, kindness, and the mother maybe of his kids. There was a brief period in the past few years where I genuinely thought and believed I'd never find the right woman. Dating was frustrating as I kept attracting the wrong types. I was all over the place mentally and I was frustrated to not be getting the results I really desired. In that dark time, I saw the world and everything around me in a clouded, more negative view. Marriage is a waste of time. Family, what's the point? Women are all the same. I'm better off being alone. I said and believed all of that, and it was no surprise that I was miserable and dejected as a result. Suddenly, when I found my current partner, aka the right woman, all of that changed. I viewed marriage as something beautiful, again with the right healthy partner only. I became closer to my family than ever before, and she did the same. I realized I was childish, naive and foolish to pigeonhole women as all the same, which of course and obviously they are not. And no, I was not better on my own, as based on my needs, wants and personality, I'm better off sharing my life with a good woman and hopefully building a future together as a team. What I'm trying to say is, I lacked meaning before and then finally I saw meaning again. It was no surprise that my work took off as did my energy, my views on the world, perspective on things, it all improved in a healthier, better way. Sadly, some men lose meaning in life and I believe it's because they lack a good woman by their side. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and take that first step to turning your life and mental health around with BetterHelp. Men may struggle to cope with feelings of loneliness, inadequacy or undesirability. I'll break these down one by one and how I personally suffered them too. As I previously mentioned, I was extremely lonely being single. When you factor in just coming out of a toxic relationship, a death in the family and a lockdown, there was nowhere to go. There was nothing to do. I remember going to bed miserable and so upset because I had nobody to share my pain and struggles with, nobody to comfort me. It was harrowing. But I pulled through and became a stronger and better man as a result. Men who are single and desperate for love and a woman can feel very lonely the older they become as well. The male ego typically works things out in a logical, rational way. Men are problem solvers. They try to use that logic to apply to even complex situations. But if a man is single, can't catch a break, can't find a woman, he sees himself almost like a failure. I can't do anything right with women. I'm a loser. I'm a failure. That's not true. Those are self-limiting beliefs, which stare harshly back at us when we're at our most vulnerable. There are poor men who never even get a date. There are poor men who get ghosted all the time. There are poor men who never even get a match on a dating app no matter how hard they try. They work very hard, spend good money to try and try and catch a break, and even just get one woman to speak to, one woman to connect with. And when these results happen, which sadly they do, a man feels undesirable. He believes he is unworthy, unloved. This struggle crushes his spirit, his confidence, the male ego. His confidence is on the floor. And hence why that's the sad reality of the difficulties he's going through. Single men, especially the older they become, have a massive lifestyle change. It can either happen gradually or instantly. From having all the time in the world, to travelling as a backpacker, partying all night long. 
Once you get older, once your job has more responsibility, your friends are busier as well, once time flies by and the routine of life begins, it all changes. I've tasted this and have a friend going through this now. He's in his mid-30s and desperately single. Most of his friends and those around him are either in relationships or married with children. He scrambles to find anyone to go out drinking or to a nightclub with. And most of the time he's lonely, upset with the situation. He wants to, on one hand, recapture his youth and the carefree bachelor lifestyle. But life, and in particular his lifestyle, is dictating that that's not the right healthy choice. Life is going to happen to each and every one of us. We're all going to grow up one day whether we like it or not. It's just the way it is. But lifestyle, aka working, going home, cooking, paying bills, it's part of being an adult. Balancing all that and being single on top of it when you want more can be extremely challenging and very difficult.